Hey, it's Brett. I wanted to make a quick video showing something that I think is important, but not often talked about, which is how one can go about organizing their learning efforts. This is a system I've been using for about maybe five years or so across different skills. Um, those skills being things like programming and technical learning. I've also used it for learning about creative writing, my uh, video editing projects, and different skills that I'm interested in. And I think Trello is a particularly great tool for this. I'll show you what I, how I use it and then walk you through a blank board that can help you out. Trello is organized into these different columns or lanes, and they each have a title. I think of them left to right because uh, the English language reads from left to right, and I guess I just think about things in that order. So a lot of this is about ideas flowing from left to right. And then some columns are similar, like ideas and skills are the same. They're like a dropping zone. Ideas are more actionable. Skills are more like high level. And then I have a column for up next, which are the things I would like to learn soon, which um, I usually just pick from the top and then just work through them and dedicate some time each day. And that adds up throughout the weeks, months, and years. Um, I have some labels, which I'll walk through in a second, but in progress shows what I'm currently learning, which is this concept of testing stencil JS, how to better unit test and integration test and acceptance test, these web components that we've been building a lot at work. So I've been spending time on that each day um, and I'm almost feel satisfied. It's not a super actionable thing to learn, but um, some of these are like, I'll feel good about it. I'll know it when I feel good about it. Uh, others are books. So I finished reading this book called Democracy at Work recently. Uh, read through some articles. This is a while back, some of these, but um, read some other books. Uh, went through some online courses and made some test apps. Uh, and then it's neat because you have this done column. You can keep track of what you've uh, accomplished and then what you're working on. And then Graveyard is where I'll put things that, like, maybe ideas that didn't work or books I didn't like reading or ideas that I'm just not going to pursue. So um, maybe they'll come back from the graveyard uh, like a zombie, but um, I like being able to see the abandoned ideas, but get them out of the way. So let's, let's talk through an example of how one of these would work. Um, let's say I'm interested in learning Rust. I, would, I added this idea. Let's see when I added it. October 2019, so a while ago. Let's say I'm interested in learning Rust soon, but I kind of want to go through these things first. Read these books and um, go through that. Then what would happen is I would move it to in progress, and I would typically add a checklist of some resources, like maybe some YouTube videos or blog posts or books, uh, courses, things I could use to learn, maybe some example apps. That would then go, and I would work through those, and then it would move to done. And maybe I have some things that I try to um, have as a resulting outcome. Like maybe I'll record some videos, or maybe I'll do this or that. Um, and then it moves to done. And then as people share, I share books that, that they like. People share, or I come across videos or tutorials or things. I just toss them in ideas, and ideas gets kind of long. Like there's this Ruby framework called Hanami that looks interesting. Um, I put it there and then I just pull through it. And um, I think about the skills that I don't have or skills I might be interested in learning and then I add those into the skills column. And those are like maybe less language specific. Some of it is language specific, some of it's more concepts. Uh, I also talk with teammates and um, leaders at work to try to understand what skills I can improve. And uh, this type of organizing just helps me have some structure to it. 
Uh, so let, let, let me create a new board and I'll show you this. Trello has a really generous free plan. I think you can create 10 free boards. So you only need one and we'll call it example learning. And this, you have a, you start with a, you know, clean slate, there's nothing on it. So then for this list title, I would add ideas. I would add up next, in progress, done, and then I like having the graveyard. You can also archive things if you don't want the graveyard. And then I would just go and uh, add things to it. So if you're really interested in learning Android development with Kotlin, you could do that. Um, you Maybe there's a book you want to read like um, The Pragmatic Programmer. Um, you can just add these things, play them when it's up next, and then start it. And then when it's done, um, you have it all there. I like this structure because it helps me be really intentional about the learning that I'm doing. And um, it's not necessarily goal-based, but it's like action and concept-based. So then uh, I know that if I spend a little bit of time each day or each week working on improving these skills, I just know that over time I will improve and get better and keep learning new things, which helps me become a better developer and keeps me interested in this profession and this trade. So um, yeah, find it really valuable rather than just sort of like to have a little structure to it. And then if I'm feeling a little lost or unsure or I know, okay, here's an hour I'm going to spend learning or reading, I just can go and check and reference back. Now, some labels that might help you are, um, I would have one called like concept slash language slash framework. That's like, okay, I want to learn this new framework. I would have one that's like a book, one that's series, like an online course. Maybe I'll change that to course. Um, I would probably make one that's like project, which I love project-based learning. That would be like, okay, um, you know, it'd be like meditation app, meditation timer app for Android or whatever, right? And then you would go add that label project and that, that could be a really great facilitator. So maybe you have that to in progress and then part of that is like, you know, you're gonna do like Android development course with Kotlin. And then that has the label of course and then sometimes you can do two things at once or multiple things at once and they influence each other. But um, yeah, that's how I use Trello to organize my learning. Like I said, I use it for non-technical learning, for um, just anything that I need to organize where there's an idea, then the idea needs to be vetted and refined and then it goes to do to be something that's in progress and then it's done. And this would honestly work for breaking down like to do's within a project or um, I guess a lot of different things in life flow through this way, but just wanted to specifically talk about learning and how I think about that. Uh, how do you keep track of your learning? I would love to know, would love to know uh, if you have any other thoughts or tools that you use to do this. Thanks so much.